Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 27, I believe, of the Lico Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord, let me know what you think about today's farm. Uh, let's see if there's a. Uh, nope, okay. Extra coins or whatever. Alright, today's farm is for three frog jumps. So, frog is crossing a river. Uh, yeah, okay. Alright. It. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so the last jump is K units, the next jump can be K minus 1, K or K plus 1 units. Okay. Say what? Okay, the first, oh, the first jump is 1. And then it can go to 3, and then it can go to 6, and then it can go, oh, that's, I guess it tells you. Oh, we can stay, so 6, 8, and then what? And then 5, what? Jump the last stone by 1 unit to the second stone, 2 unit to the third stone, 2 units to the fourth stone, 3 units to the sixth stone, 4 units to the seventh stone. Okay. Uh, and N is to go to 2,000. Um, hmm. Well, let's think about this, right? And numbers can be really big. Mm. And they already sorted it for you. Yay. Hmm. I'm trying to think. So what, the first thing I'm trying to do is think about what is the maximum K or whatever, right? The last jump. I think because of the uh, pigeonhole principle, apparently one of my favorite principles, you can only do up to K as you go to 2,000 jumps, right? Because that is that true? Let me think whether that's true. Maybe I'm lying. But my, my idea is that basically there has to be a gap of 1 and then 2 and then 3 and then at a certain point, and there's no way to repeat if you, your K keeps going up. So if you have 2,000 stone, is that always going to be unique? I guess it doesn't technically have to be. Um, oh, wait, wait, sorry. I, it can only jump in a forward direction. Okay, sorry, friends. Uh, for some reason, I was thinking about mo jumping back and forth and stuff like this. So I was thinking like, oh, you could do one, two, and then do it. So uh, in this case, obviously, K can at most be 2,000 because um, if you... If you jump and you only jump one, then you're going to be at 1,000, right? And in this case, because K can only go up to 2,000, I think it net lends itself to a very uh, natural dynamic programming solution uh, of N squared or N times K to be more specific. But K is constrained in this case by N. And yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's it. I mean, I think 2,000 square will be good enough for most languages. In Python or lead code, because lead code is a little silly when it comes to Python, I'm not 100% confident, but let's give it a go, right? So, yeah, let's, let's try, right? So basically, let's just say, can get to the end maybe, can uh, get to the end. That's a terrible function name. <laughs> Uh, index and the current K, right? And basically, yeah. And this index can even substitute for stone sub index, but whatever, right? And then we can try to think if we can can get to the end, the end from zero, and when K is one, okay, right? So then now we basically, uh, yeah. N is equal to length of stones. If index is equal to n minus one, then we're, we're we're done. We're good. Otherwise, no matter what k is, right? Yeah. Otherwise, uh, we you, you can kind of do for next k maybe in um, you know k minus one, 
k, k plus one, something like this. Maybe I could write this a little bit better, but but if and k is greater than zero, we have to make sure that is greater than zero. Otherwise, I don't know. It's just weird. And stone sub. Uh, so let, let's just say the current location is equal to stone sub index, and then so current plus n k is in some data structure. Um, let's just say possible or whatever possible then yeah then well and then then we will try to jump so can get to the end of possible of well maybe look up I'll call it look up for look up index uh, look up of so that this way we can do it for um, all of one right in theory, or yeah close to it you could say look up of current plus nk and nk is the new number and so if this is true then we can return true otherwise we just return false and i believe that's it uh we have to do some pre-processing to so that we can do lookup in all of one um because you're always jumping forward anyway so so there's no um and if we check that the delta is at most or bigger than zero then th then this becomes a dag which is um which is directed, so that means that there are no psychos. Uh, actually, that's it's not even the directed part. <laughs> the second part, asynchronic, right? There's no uh, no psychos by definition, and because this is a DAG, then um, then it's just a connectivity problem. Uh, yeah. So okay. So for index x, I guess in enumerate stones, uh, lookup of x is equal to index, and of course we just so lookup is equal to yeah. Give a spin, looks good, but is it good now? Because we're, we're branching out a lot, so we have to do some memorization. Uh, this time, I guess, yeah, yeah. Index obviously can go from zero to n, and k can go from, as we said, zero to uh, also n. Well, I guess one to n, n inclusive, maybe, because it can be zero. Um, so yeah, so that means that this is just n square, and we can kind of construct the array already, uh, the lookup mechanic. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Is it n or n plus one? No, n is fine. All right. Uh. And that's pretty much it, hopefully. <laughs> oh no, caching made it wrong. Did I have a typo? That's weird. Do I have a typo? Why would it work without the caching? Hang on. <laughs> Man. Some days, yeah, what the hell? I should index, do I reuse variable names by accident? That happens sometimes. What the? Hmm, dong dong dong. That's wild. Well, I guess k could be n plus, uh, it could be n, but we don't actually even do that. Uh, no, that's fine. Hmm. Wow, that's weird. I mean, it's probably that I have a typo or some weird thing somewhere, but still. Hmm. Huh. Why did I return true? Dun dun dun. Oh, why is it just returning true that I default? Huh. 
Huh. Oh, uh, just one of those things. Do I have a typo somewhere? So we have cash. What is going on? And this isn't even print. Do I have, have Provence? Do I have. No, but that worked before, right? Uh, if you could spot it, more props to you. Uh, you can probably just fast forward it over. What is this? Oh, feedback. Right, feedback. What the? Uh, man, I am. I'm apparently way bad at coding. Why does this not even print anything? Zero one. What? Was this working before? Or did I just get lucky? Now this is a kind of crazy recursion. So why is it that when I have... Has cash zero... Oh, I am dumb. Whoops. I am dumb. I don't know how to... I think I was... Uh, okay. Uh, uh, uh. So... So, wow, it's kind of ridiculous that this can somehow not flow in uh, like a type error. I mean, it is what it is. But what happens was that is it checks that this this is an array exists. So that uh, this also returns a non false value. So that's why it was returning true. But uh, that's a that's kind of silly. Did I have another mistake? I don't even know anymore. But apparently, I got this wrong. Man, today is tough. <clears throat> I return true. Oh, because the first time has to be exactly K. Uh, okay, that's such a weird edge case, but okay, fine. So, um... By definition, it has to be. I'm just trying to see if it's unique, but I guess it could be one, and then the last jump is one. Um, but that's only if stone sub one is not equal to one, then we return force. Yeah, hmm. What did I do? Uh, I mean, I, I definitely kind of wrote it in a weird way this time, but... Uh, well, hmm. I guess I did it the same way last time, but... Why did I get a wrong answer here? Hmm. It's very confusing. Anyway, this is going to be n times k, because... Uh, well, I guess k is not a thing. Uh, k is bounded by n, so this is n squared, so this is quadratic time. Um, or, yeah, and because we only do at most three lookups here, so yeah, so th this entire function is constant, so this is going to be n squared. Uh, in terms of space, from here it's going to be n squared, so that's, that's your solution. Um, it is 4 a.m., so I don't know why I'm up. I am going to sleep now, though, so stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye. Ooh, boop.